Hey guys, I just want to take a little bit of time and show you how to turn your Canvas homepage from this into this. Let's do it. So I have to admit that for a long time I was not a fan of home pages in Canvas, but this year it seems that uh, they've really helped students to understand Canvas better and how to navigate it, especially since so many teachers are using it in so many different ways. And so let's jump right in to see how to create a really good looking, super functional and simple home page in your Canvas course. So one of the first things that always comes up when talking about designing a Canvas homepage or any page for that matter is what do I use for design? Obviously, if you have design skills and you have access to tools like um, Adobe Photoshop or even better Adobe Illustrator, then you can totally make all the content on your own. However, for those people that don't have access to those tools or maybe don't feel super confident in their design skills, then I recommend using a service just like canva.com. On canva.com, you can really create any type of design and it's a great tool to help you create banners for your websites or buttons or things like that. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail how to use Canva. It's pretty intuitive and pretty self-explanatory. Just create an account, log in and go for it. So let's jump into Canvas. And right now, this is the page that's going to be my home page. And it's pretty bland. And if a student came to this and said, hey, uh, what's this course all about? They're probably not going to be too excited. So let's jump into how to make this look pretty darn good. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of the assets that I've created, whether that be in canva.com or another source uh, that I've done on my own and I'm going to upload it to canvas. So go to files and then I like to create a new folder and call it home page. And in here I'm going to upload all of my stuff. So I've created a file for all of my stuff. So those are uploading and then I'm also going to upload these social media icons. And so in this folder now I have everything that I need for my home page. So I'm going to go back to my pages, to that page that's going to be my home page. It's down here at the bottom. And now that I have everything, I'm going to start designing. So just hit that edit button. And then the first thing that I'm going to do is add a banner up at the top. So I'm just going to put it above the text here. And there's two ways to access images. Uh, first is this embed image. And then the second one is over on this image tab. And I'm going to just use the embed image and I'm going to click on canvas and then go down to that home page folder that I created. And then this one's my banner and I don't need the alternate text. So I'm just going to click decorative image and then you can see the dimensions there and hit update. And then it adds that banner that I've created already in there. And you can see that already it's starting to look a lot better. So then I'm going to add the buttons now below and to do that, you're going to want to use a table. So I just click on the table button up here and then you can choose how many rows and columns that you want. And so I just want a single row and I think I had five buttons that I'm gonna use. And it creates this table and it's ready for me to start putting everything in it. So again, I'm gonna use this embed image and I'm gonna show you why I like this a little better than maybe using that image tab. So if I click this and go to canvas, again, I'm gonna to go to that home page folder and I have my buttons here. And so I'm gonna start with this one. And again, I don't need that alternate text. And my dimensions right now are 138 by 165. That's a little big. And uh, I'll, in fact, I'll show you. That's pretty big. And so I wanna change the size of that. So I'm just gonna click on it, go here, and I'm gonna make this 95. Now, could I have designed it at 95? Yes, but I didn't quite know what it was gonna look like in Canvas until I got it there. And so uh, once I did, I felt it was a little big. And so I'm just going to scale it down a little bit. And there it is. It's a little more manageable, not quite as in your face. So I'm just going to add the rest of the buttons here. All right. Now that I got all my buttons in here, then you'll notice that they're kind of off centered. And so to center them up, I'm just going to select all of the cells. And then I'm going to go up here to the top and align center. And you'll notice that they go right into the center of those cells and it's looking good. 
So the next step is to actually link them to the different parts of my Canvas course. So this first one, I want to link to the discussions. And so to do that over here on the left hand side, you'll see all these links. And so all you have to do is right click on, in my case, the discussions, choose copy link, come down here to your image, hit the link to URL button, and then paste that in there. And now it's linked to the discussion. So when people click on that, it'll take them right to the discussions. This one I want to link to the modules. And so I'm going to do the same thing, right click on the modules, copy link, go to the link URL and paste that in there. Now, what if you want to link to like a page or an assignment, then what you can do is select the image, come over here to the course links tab and choose your page or assignment. So I'm just going to go down to this page um, and we're going to, do this editing workflow and then legal music. I have this page called legal music. I'm going to do that. And I would do the exact same thing if I wanted to uh, link it to a assignment or a quiz or some other element within canvas. So now that everything is linked up, the last step is to get rid of this gross border. And to do that, you just have to select anywhere inside of the table, go up to the table button, choose table properties, and then on the advanced tab, you're going to see this border color And here. You could just type transparent and then that's going to make it go away. But I want to show you a couple other things, this width. So the width of the table is um, relative to the width of their browser page. And so I like to keep mine pretty things pretty close together. So I'm going to go with like 65%. You can also choose a pixel number, but I like the percent better just because it keeps it simple. I don't have to keep guessing or anything like that. And then I want my alignment of my table to be in the center. So now I hit OK. And there is all of those buttons in a row and uh, ready to be clicked on. The last thing that I'm going to do, and I just like to do this to kind of make my canvas homepage, maybe a little more interactive and fun is add some social media links. And so I'm going to do the exact same thing with the table and I'm going to add a table with only three cells, go over to my image tab because these, uh, images I don't need to resize and there's Instagram, there's YouTube and there is Spotify. So then I can just click on them, get the links here. And obviously you would put in your link, the links to your particular pages or channels or things like that. Then I'm going to select it, center it up, go to my table properties. And I want this one to be a lot smaller. So I'm going to go to like, I don't know, 50%. I want it to be in the center. And then I want that border to be transparent. All right. Now that I have the page designed, the last thing you do is to actually set it as your home page. Cause right now it's not set as the home page. So I'm going to go to my list of pages and I'm going to scroll down to this page that I want this welcome to video one. I'm going to click on these little dots over here and click use as front page. So then if I go to home, it's still not going to be set as the home page because I'm going to go over to this right hand side and click choose home page. And then I want this pages front page and it says, welcome to video one. That's what I want. Hit save. And now I have this as the home page. So that's how you do it. It's not difficult. Probably the hardest part and the thing you're going to spend the most time on is designing all the different pieces for the home page itself. But once you have them linking them and putting them all together in tables is actually pretty straightforward and simple. And you might even go through a couple of iterations to find the one that works for you. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. And so feel free to send in some screenshots or even link to your canvas page so that we can take a look at your homepage. Hope to see him soon until next time, guys. Thanks for watching.